Today we're talking about punch recording within Cakewalk by BandLab. So if you guys are recording other artists or you're recording yourself, you guys definitely need to know how to do punch recording. And if you guys want to learn how to do it properly in Cakewalk, stick around after this introduction. What's going on everybody? I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing, and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we are talking about punch recording within Cakewalk by BandLab. So if you are new to recording, you may have never heard of punch recording before, but it is very important. It's very important as an engineer working with other artists or if you are recording yourself. It's actually super important if you're recording yourself. So punch recording can be more easily explained using an example. So if I was to record a vocal take, we'll say I recorded all of verse one, but maybe I didn't like the second line, but I want to keep everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a punch in point at the beginning of that second line and then a punch out point at the end of that second line. And then I'm going to hit record and it's only going to record everything between those punch points. So essentially I get to keep all the stuff I like and then I get to re-record over the bad stuff I didn't like. So that is punch recording in a nutshell. So I'm going to give you a full example on how to do that in Cakewalk. But before we get to that, there's a link popping up in the top right corner now to my Cakewalk playlist that is full of training videos. So these videos range from beginner to advanced. And if you guys want to get better at using Cakewalk, definitely check out this playlist after this video. So with that being said, let's get into this Cakewalk punch recording demo. All right, so the first thing I need to do before we can actually do any punch recording is to actually record a take. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to count to eight. I'm gonna count to eight on the beat using a metronome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a four bar count and then I'm going to come in. All right, so let's begin doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we got a recording there. Let me actually just trim it up a bit. We'll bring that over to here and we will bring that over to here. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to re-record counts five and six. All right. So we're going to set up punch points for that. So the first thing we need to do is actually related to global recording. We need to go up to the edit tab in the top left corner. Click on that. Go down to preferences. Go down to project and then record. Now this is going to seem kind of odd, but instead of leaving it on comping, we want to do overwrite. And the reason for this is because we don't really want to do comping when we're doing one-off punches, all right? So we'll do another tutorial about comping, but for this tutorial, put this on overwrite. Go to apply, and then when this comes back up, hit close. So now we're good there. So now we need to go to the punch window, which is over here to the right. See where mouse is at? If you hover over it, you get just a few options. So this one here, this is actually to enable auto punch toggle. So this actually enables it. So enable it. And then we actually need to set our punch in and out points. So I don't recommend actually typing in the numbers. Just press this button here and you get some uh, little markers you can drag. So we're doing five and six, right? So this is a little bit after six. So that's our punch out point. And this is a little bit before five. So you want to do it a little bit before and after because you don't want to do it right on the part you want to start at because you may chop off the word. So hopefully that makes sense. So at this point, we're pretty much ready to go. All we got to do is hit the record button. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start it before our recording starts. And I'm actually going to talk along with the numbers that are already recorded so I can get more of a natural feel going into five and six. All right. So let's go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so as you can see, we have a brand new five and six right here. And if I click on the clip, it is indeed a brand new clip. 
So we did get a new recording here. So that is all it takes to do punch recording within Cakewalk by BandLab. And as mentioned, if you're doing a one-off like this, you want to set in preferences under record to overwrite. If you're going to be doing several vocal takes where you're doing loop recording, you want to do comping. And there will be another tutorial for that, so look out for that. So with that being said, if you found this tutorial helpful, give this video a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and definitely hit that notification bell to know how new videos coming out. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later and peace out.